Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. 2 times square root of x cubed plus 8 is equal to x squared minus x plus 6. We need to find all possible values of x. Since this expression x cubed plus 8 is under square root. So this expression x cubed plus 8 must be greater than or equal to 0. And if we move this plus 8 to the right side, then x cubed must be greater than or equal to negative 8. And if we take a cube root of both sides, then x must be greater than or equal to negative 2. So, this is the domain for this equation. Now, now because this 8, this 8 is equal to 2 cubed. So, by using this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This 2 times square root of x cubed plus 8 will become 2 times square root of x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4 is equal to this expression x squared minus x plus 6. Next, 2 times. This square root of x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4 can be written as square root of x plus 2 times square root of this expression x squared minus 2x plus 4 is equal to now because here we have two factors x plus 2 and x squared minus 2x plus 4 so we write this expression x squared minus x plus 6 as x squared we split this negative x as we split this negative x as negative 2x plus 1x and we split this plus 6 as we split this plus 6 as plus 4 and plus 2. Next, 2 times square root of this expression x plus 2 times square root of this expression x squared minus 2x plus 4 is equal to now we make a group of these two terms x squared minus 2x and this plus 4 like this x squared minus 2x plus 4 and we use parentheses to make it a group. Then we write this plus here plus and we make another group of this plus x and this 2. In this group we write x plus now here we have x plus 2 and here we have x plus 2 and here we have x squared minus 2x plus 4 and here we have x squared minus 2x plus 4. So we suppose that let a is equal to this expression square root of x plus 2. We suppose that b is equal to this expression square root of x squared minus 2 times x plus 4. And if we take square of both sides of this equation, then a squared will be equal to x plus 2. And if we take square of both sides of this equation, then b squared will be equal to x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now we substitute a, b and a squared and b squared in this equation 
then this equation will become 2 times in place of this uh, square root of x plus 2 we write a a and in place of uh, this expression square root of uh, x squared minus 2x plus 4 we write b is equal to and in place of uh, this uh, x squared minus 2x plus 4 we write b squared b squared plus and in place of this uh, x plus 2 we write this expression a squared a squared now we rearrange these two terms and move this 2ab to the right side we write this a squared first a squared then we write this plus b squared plus b squared we move this plus 2ab to the right side it becomes negative 2ab is equal to 0 now this a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to a minus b whole squared is equal to 0 and from here we take square root of both sides of this equation and this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left side we are left a minus b is equal to square root of 0 is 0. Now we move this negative b to the right side so a is equal to this negative b will become positive b at right side now in place of this a we put this value of a square root of x plus 2 and in place of this b we put this value of b square root of x squared minus 2x plus 4 like this value of a is square root of x plus 2 is equal to value of b is square root of x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now from here we take square of both sides of this equation. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left side we are left with x plus 2 is equal to and at right side we are left with x squared minus 2 times x plus 4. Now we move this x and this plus 2 to the right side. We write this x squared first x squared minus this 2x 2x and this plus x becomes negative x at right side plus this 4 and this plus 2 becomes negative 2 at right side is equal to 0. Next x squared minus 2 times x minus x this 4 minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms we can factor out x. x as a common factor and in bracket left x minus 2 from these two terms we can factor out negative 1 negative 1 as a common factor and in bracket left x minus 2 is equal to 0 now as you can see this expression x minus 2 this expression x minus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this x minus 2 x minus 2 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this x and this minus 1 in bracket left x minus 1 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0 from this equation x is equal to 2 from this equation x is equal to 1 this is the first value of x and this is the second value of x so we have two solutions for this equation x1 is equal to 2 and x2 is equal to 1 now let's verify these values of x by putting these values in the 
original equation. The original equation is 2 times square root of x cubed plus 8 is equal to x squared minus x plus 6. First, in this equation, we put the value of x1, 2, like this, 2 times square root of value of x is 2 cubed plus 8 is equal to value of x 2 squared minus value of x 2 plus 6. Next, 2 times square root of 2 cubed is 8 plus this 8 is equal to square of 2 is 4 minus this 2 plus 6. Next, 2 times square root of 8 plus 8, 16 is equal to 4 plus 6, 10 and 10 minus 2, 8. 2 times square root of 16 is 4 is equal to 8 and 2 times 4, 8 is equal to 8. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, this value of x12 is a valid solution. Now, in this equation, we put this value of x21, like this, 2 times square root of value of x is 1 cubed plus this 8 is equal to value of x1 squared minus value of x1 plus this 6. Next, 2 times square root of 1 cubed is 1 plus this 8 is equal to 1 squared is 1 minus 1 plus this 6. Now, 2 times square root of 1 plus 8 9 is equal to this positive 1 will be cancelled out with this negative 1 and at right side we are left with 6. Next, 2 times square root of 9 is 3 is equal to 6 and 2 times 3 6 is equal to 6. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, this value of x to 1 is a valid solution.